Hey, we're at Imperial Toy, where we are checking out one of the hot new games for the year. I saw this in Hong Kong, very impressed. It's called Rocks. Tim Nolan, tell me what this is all about. Uh, Rocks is the, is the gotta have it for fall 2012. It's collectability, battling, meeting, trick play. So there's two essences to the brand. It's what you do with rocks, where you collect them, you battle them, you trade them, and all the things that rocks can do. They, they spin. And these are rocks. They're all very different. They're kind of like, yeah. like they're kind of like rocks. Right. It's a hot, new, unique dish shape, and that has a really payoff with the action, with the, with the flip ability and the action for kids. So there's um, 72 styles in the first Ooh. wave, limited edition art. As soon as the um, our first wave hits stores, it'll be immediately be retired, and the first replenishment's gonna be the new waves, trying to get into the essence of kids and collecting and trading and battling. Lots of, whoa, lots of different yeah. tricks to play with. You got it. Okay, I think we wanna go get splatted on. All right, sounds good. Um, this is sticky and fun. I what is it called? Zuma Splat X. Zuma Splat X. Now, so so I got this sticky thing in my hand. What do I do with it? Uh, this is our Imperial's take on a new alternative blaster, where all the kinetic energy is on the is based in the ammo. And you splat it. Love that. So we can splat it right at our guy here. <laughs> this is exactly the reason I spent so much time in detention when I was a kid. Uh, this is awesome. There's different shooters, different styles, different, different things shooters. coming out, different right. colors, right? Right. Value place alternative shooters. This is a 999 MSRP in mass. This is called our smack shot. And then we also have our sly shot, which is a 599 mass MSRP, and our stealth shooter, where a kid can have it secret in his pocket and pull it out of school and blast his teacher. Now, real quickly, they, they, they're sticky now, but what happens after you've played with them for a while? They get sticky. They lose their stickiness over time and you just wash them with a little warm water and the sticky comes right back. Pretty amazing. Let's see what else we can find here at Toy Fair. We're at Crazy Art and I'm with the owner of Crazy Art, Larry Rosen, and I'm holding the Ice Slate and he has the Ice Slate Glow. What are these products? Ice Slate is amazing. It's a, uh, an iPad for children for $10 on the go. Fun. And everything's enclosed inside the case. So you have activities that include markers and crayons that dry erase and magically wipe off. And for example, in this new Ice Lake Glow, you simply twitch the button and you can draw magically right on the Ice Lake and simply erase like magic. So you have it where it glows on the front, you open up on the inside and you have a wipe off for it as well. I can draw like magic. Great for taking in the car and airplanes. Absolutely. Moms love portability and organization. You have storage for all the products that come inside. Includes stencils, dry erase crayons, dry erase markers, and everything wipes off like magic. This is the Ice Lake Grow. We're going to keep walking around Toy Fair, see what other cool items we can find. Okay, you guys know we love Perplexus, and there's a new one out coming this year, Perplexus Twist. Tim, tell me how it works. Uh, twist is a whole new twist on the Perplexus concept. Uh, there's uh, you twist the ball and the tracks actually move independently and there's 30 different transition points where you actually have to line the track up, cross over and then go through the uh, labyrinth a little bit more and then you cross over 30 different times. So it's not just it's not just the one labyrinth like in the original Perplexus, it's changing every turn. Every time you twist it, uh, there's, a, a, there's a whole new puzzle there. This will keep your kids busy and quiet and I got to really quickly show you this. You're calling this Hiccups? Hiccups. This was originally introduced in the 60s. This is one of my favorite toys. Can't wait to tell you more about this. Let's see what else we can find at Toy Fair. I'm with Kevin from Ogosport, and I have something that might look familiar, but it's changed a little. What am I holding? How's it changed? This is the Ogosport rack. We've added a new, unique handle to our Ogo disc. Oh, there it goes. And we've added a whole new ball. Now this, flux ball. Now, this can be used more than to hit the ball up of and course. down. We're all about universal play, open play. You can use it as a Frisbee, bounce water balloons, tennis balls, racquetballs. I see the toy guy out there. Give, him, give it a throw to him. Oh, there it goes, and here it comes back. Thank you, <laughs> Toy Guy from Ogosport. Let's see what else we can find cool at Toy Fair. Okay, so you're telling me this car turns into a dinosaur. What's up with that? Yeah, it turns into a dinosaur in just a couple simple steps. This is horns of Triceratops, and that's it. That is pretty amazing. How did you guys come up with this? Um, we came up with it. Uh, the designers in Hong Kong came up with an idea of we're trying to come up with something that's a little more of a play pattern for boys. 
um, where we can expand into different aisles of the toy section as well. So this will be in the boys' vehicle aisle instead of the educational aisle. And that's a new place for VTech, right? Yes, this is a new place for us. Pretty exciting. Let's yeah. see what's next at Toy Fair. Cars that turn into dinosaurs, what's next? We'll find out more, and you can find out more anytime at timetoplaymag.com, where we're making the world a better place to play.